everyone and a very warm welcome to another episode of Craftbooks TV. I am so glad that you could join me today, so a warm, warm welcome. Um, I have received such a lovely feedback on the last episode and I'm so grateful. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch, comment, purchase. Really, really greatly appreciated. And I thought I'm going to keep you company this Sunday as well. This wasn't planned, but then in the end, um, I thought uh, many of you choose to stay at home given the current situation with a certain little bug. Um, so I thought I might as well keep you company and also show you some fabulous techniques, demos, and also some of the amazing products that we have uh, on the show today. Let's get started. By the way, my name is Anna Hersom. I am the founder of Craftbox and Learn to Craft, aka Creative Craft Academy. I am going to link everything up there or down there if you're watching us on Facebook Facebook um, you're going to have everything in the chat box if you're watching us on YouTube you're going to have everything in the chat box and the description box as well right let's have a look at what we have on the show today so an interesting piece of trivia, uh, the illustrations that are in the Adventures of the Alice in the Wonderland or Alice in the Wonderland book anyway, are now nearly 150 years old and they are out of copyright, which is really exciting for all of us craft suppliers and crafters because we can create lots of beautiful, beautiful products um, with the Alice in the Wonderland original illustrations. So I'm going to start from kind of the middle of the set and I'm going to show you what we have on today. So the first thing I have is those amazing journaling cards. They are really awesome and the size of them is six inches by four inches so brilliant for all your cards, for all your A6 cards and also for, for journaling pages. Um, they are fantastic for scrapbooking. I mean you can use so so you can use them in so many different ways. Okay so there are plenty of cards in there. 24 cards in every single pack. So this is what they look like. I am going to show them in a little bit of a close up. Have a look. Now let's have a look at the journaling card in a little bit more of a close up. So you have the white rabbit, you've got the Alice. Again, these are the original illustrations from the book. Um, and then you have Matt Hatter, you've got Alice here. And then you have those background cards that I mentioned before. And we have some uh, just at the very bottom as well. Look at the queen. That is amazing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick flick through for you here so that you can see exactly what you're getting in this pack. So we have the background ones. Um, so you have dark green, you have aubergine color, you have mint green, which is my, perf my, my favorite. We have a purple one. You have like a darker purple there. You have this gorgeous pink. Then you have this kind of gorgeous teal um, and then a different shade of purple, lots of purples because they really, really go. Um, and then you have the actual journaling cards. So you have the one with the white rabbit. Look at the intricacy, intricacy of this design. This is absolutely gorgeous. You've got Alice. You've got Alice again. She's so pretty. Those illustrations are timeless. You've got the cats on the top. And again, it all looks beautiful as a journaling spot or as just a card. Such a simple card making uh, process I can see here. Okay, you've got Alice there. Got Dodo. Matt Hatter. Another Matt Hatter. You've got them in, you've got him in ephemera as well, which is just gorgeous. Have a look. So I just picked that from the ephemera. Isn't that perfect? Love it. So these all go together. I think ephemera and journaling cards, they are not an absolute must. And the laser cut uh, gates as well, because they will go beautifully with this. And the flowers, because they really, really go with all this. They will add a little bit of vibrancy. And the collections as well. I mean, everything, everything just is so great. Okay, have a look. So this is what we have. So this is a huge stack of those, look. This is how much you're getting just for $6.99, gorgeous designs. 
Okay, so this is your journaling, these are your journaling cards. So I hope this was helpful because I know it's a little bit tricky to see it from this distance. Okay, so these are only £6.99. £6.99, that's amazing. That's a huge, huge stash. You could see them um, just a moment ago when I showed you um, on the close-up. I hope you like them. They are printed um, in the uh, method called Litho. Uh, it's a Litho print, um, which means that they are matte and they are uncoated. So you you can do so much on them. You can put texture paste, um, you can spray them, you can put your inks, and we're going to be talking about something really, really exciting just there in a second. But you can do so, so much on them. Um, and yeah, they're absolutely fantastic. So if you want them, they're only £6.99. As always, I'm putting all the details on this ha this side. And if you want to purchase anything, it's craftbox.co.uk and Craftbox USA uh, if you are based in America. All right, let's move on. The next thing I wanted to show you is the ephemera. And yes, I know we're going to move to this side of the screen and I'm going to talk to you about those beauties because they're amazing as well. But this is ephemera. This is the ephemera based on the original illustrations from the Alice in Wonderland book. And you can get it in two versions or like one ver big version combined. Let me talk you through it. So we have the ephemera with all the beautiful images and I am going to show this to you in a little bit of a close up in just a moment but you can actually get this huge pack if you choose to go for the ephemera and the little coin pack again all the details are on the right hand side so let's have a look at them in a little bit of a close-up but before you do that I'm just going to let you know that individually each one of those packs so the ephemera with all the characters and also the ephemera with the coins are £4.99 each so that's £4.99 each but if you decide to go for a jumbo pack and again all the details on this hand side then it's only £7.99 so you're effectively saving £2 so go for the whole pack and just have many many more elements here okay so it's time to have a closer look at this beautiful ephemera just have a look at those so you have the Cheshire cat here on a branch and then you have um, four different tea uh, pots and then a Cheshire cat again and then have a look at this you've got Alice here You've got Alice and the Queen, you've got Mad Hatter, you've got a few different Alices and the White Rabbit and these are cut so intricately and they're a little bit of a higher up in this pack. You also have the frame, you've got that clock, look at the detail of that cut, the Queen, Mad Hatter again and then another clock. So all this is in your character pack and that is only £4.99. But what I would really suggest is to go for a jumbo pack. Let me show you the coins. Okay, so these are the coins. And I believe there are just over 50 of them, plenty different coins. Let's just show you what they are like. So this is what they look like absolutely beautiful lots of gorgeous designs and they are approximately three centimeters so 30 millimeters so i think it's just over an inch but have a look absolutely beautiful and we have so many different designs just have a look at that oh look at so cute and it's all in this absolutely gorgeous sepia So these are the coins. So you can get coins with a character pack and that's only £7.99. So the next thing I'm going to show you are our flowers. I love flowers. They are such an amazing embellishment and I have two brand brand new packs. Now I did say to you in the previous show we're going to be fully transparent about how much stock we have. We have nothing to hide here and I'm going to tell you have only 25 packs. By the time you're watching this this may be on back order so have a look. If it is on back order it's only going to be about a week plus. Um, wait but have a look they may not be on back order yet now these are 
uh, $9.99 for a set of two. Normally our flowers are $5.99 each, so, so for the set of two you're actually saving two pounds and we are selling them in two pack because they go beautifully together. So one of them is that beautiful uh, pink and a little bit of peach in it, the other one is green and yellow um, and you've got a little bit of orange, so beautiful for spring. Craft box flowers, much, much loved. Just have a look at those two packs. I'm just going to show you them in more detail. So you have that gorgeous peach pack and you have that fantastic green, yellow and orange pack. And these are individually £5.99 and they are only £9.99 if you get both of them. Something I absolutely have to mention is our Wonderland collection. If you don't know our paper collections designed by our wonderful Maeva, our Italian designer, they are beautiful. And Wonderland is one of our most, most popular collections. Now, there are certain collections that we are going to be retiring, and these are all the collections from 2018 and 19, and this is one of the collections. We don't have a huge stock. We have more of the 8x8 than we have 12x12. Of the 12x12, we have approximately 50 pads left altogether and of the 8x8 we've got approximately only like 35 left on, on a, a shelf so um, this is all we're going to have so if you would like to get any of those collections uh, either 12x12 or 8x8 we don't have 6x6 anymore and we're not planning a reprint at this point um, then just um, have a look they are absolutely beautiful so I'm going to show you the Wonderland paper pad. This is so beautiful and actually it starts, and this is so beautiful. And again, this is printed on uncoated cardstock and you have all those beautiful characters. These are designed for us um, and these are different to the ones from the book, of course. We, not, we have not used the illustrations from the book, but um, they will all go beautifully with the ephemera anyway. And you have a fussy cut sheet inside as well. So, um, so the craft box collections always have like a busy page and a more of a background page on which you can put your own embellishments. Um, so you can have some really, really busy ones to create simple cards with, or you can have um, some of the simpler ones to then create your own designs on them. Oh, this is one of my absolute favorite pages. Have a look at this one so gorgeous this one is my favorite as well and these are printed on 190 gsm paper um, and again this one i'm showing you here is eight by eight and you do have that fussy cut sheet at the very back just here with alice in all the beautiful um elements as well now your 12 by 12 is exactly the same except it's double-sided um, so 8 by 8 and 6 by 6 normally our 8 by 8 uh, paper pads um, are single-sided whilst 12 by 12 are double-sided two more things to show you really quickly before I go ahead and smother you with demos promise it will be worth your wait okay so I'm sure you were wondering what on earth is that beauty because these are absolutely gorgeous what these are, these are laser cut papers. So you have some doilies and you have some beautiful, beautiful um, gates there as well. Really ornate. Now I thought they will go with that beautiful um, ephemera really, really well. In fact, we had them for a while, but I, have, I found them on the shelf just this afternoon, just looking for something completely different. I thought, how come we never put them on a website? These are beautiful. And they really are. The paper is textured. I'm going to show you everything on a little bit of a close-up and they are just so intricately, intricately cut. So come a little bit closer and I'm going to show you what these are all about. And if you wonder how much they are, they are only £4.99. As you can see, everything we have on the show is super, super affordable. So let's have a look at those. Have a look at those absolutely beautiful um, laser cut papers. Now I am going to zoom in for you because I know you really appreciated all the zoom-ins last time and if I was to buy something um, I would want to see exactly what I'm buying so have a look at those. You can see on this one that it has a little bit of a texture. Let me see if I can zoom in even a little bit more. 
can you see that texture it's amazing because when you color it with well for example with the blending brushes that we have on the show today um, then these will look amazing so this is what we have in this pack so I'm just going to be counting because I haven't counted them before so that is four five six look at this one kind of opening gate then you have the three doilies so that's six seven eight and then nine they are absolutely gorgeous very very thin paper and really beautiful designs they are only four pounds 99 and they do come in the little um, vellum envelope as well and they come like flat packed very very carefully packed so none of them are going to be squished or squashed or anything like this all right so you may be wondering what on earth are these now these are amazing these are our brand brand new blending brushes they are so soft they are very very dense and really soft if you like your distress inks and they will work with any distress inks any any kind of ink really they will work with if you like your color blending these are going to be absolutely perfect for you now the journaling cards we have on a show as i mentioned before they are uncoated so if you wanted to make the edges of them a little bit more darker say for example with vintage photo distressing then you can just use this and very very gently just pop that on the edges i am of course going to demonstrate this for you and i cannot wait we have them in four different sizes so let me just show you what we have one two three four this is perfect for your little travel kit and then you have slightly bigger and slightly bigger and really big one now when you first get them they will shed a little bit so just be warned you're going to have to pick some of those flowers uh, flowers <laughs> some of the hair you're going to have to pick some of the hair um, off but they will stop eventually they are just brand new from a factory and if any of them stick out then you can just give them a little nip but they are really really dense and really good quality fantastic brushes for all your blending okay so i am going to show you a close-up of those brushes so we have them in four different sizes and as you can see i mean one of them is just the, the biggest one is huge so they go in size one two three four so size one is the biggest one so this is your size one and then you have size two here you have size three here and then you have size four here and size four is brilliant for getting into those little nooks and crannies or if you want to um if you want to blend uh, or color something that is relatively small then that is absolutely perfect for this purpose so you have them uh, on in those four sizes okay so now you know everything we have on the show i think it's time for me to move on and show you some demonstrations okay let's have a look okay so i moved to the demo area to show you uh, some of the things that i have prepared for you and uh, one of the things I'm going to be working on is a card. Now, I absolutely adore this Alice collection. And also what I'm going to show you is I am going to show you our new blending brushes. These are amazing. We don't have a huge stock of these. And I have seen that everyone is just a little bit tentative about them. Now, there's nothing tentative about them. You have four different sizes. And whilst I'm working on this demo, I'm going to show you how to use them. Um, you can we sell them individually um, and they are all under 10 pounds and now, as you can see have a look the quality of it is just absolutely fab okay so I'm going to take um, this size 2 so this is the 5 centimeter uh, blending brush and I'm going to take a, a distress ink so this is the vintage photo I think it's everyone's favorite right uh, and I, I have a card base here and what I've taken is the two pieces from the journaling um, uh, from the journaling bundle um, and I'm going to be using this uh, I'm going to use using both of them but first I'm going to darken up the edges of this using my blending brush so all you have to do is just take your blending brush and then just pop that in the ink so as you can see it instantly got dark and look this is how easy it is to have a seamless blend and you just can keep adding and because it is so soft you're just going to get that beautiful blend every single time okay just keep adding the ink my ink is not as juicy as i would want it to be but you can see the difference already 
obviously vintage photo just adds a little bit of a sepia effect to this and what I would do is I would take a larger size so you can either grab the larger or the smaller one and also the smaller size so I would get two depending on the size that actually you fancy okay and after finishing with that what you may want to do you may want to take a smaller one so for example I take the smallest one and then just really add that intensity now you don't have to have two brushes for that not at all but this just helps to get that intensity in the smallest points okay you can use your large brush but then you're just going to have to really really load it with ink but look it's possible all you have to do is just angle it okay so look at that beautiful still turquoise inside and then my brushes look like this now all you're going to do is you're going to take a wet wipe or you're going, you're, or you're going to take your stamp uh, stamp cleaning uh, pad and then you're just going to rub it and then just dry it. And that's all you have to do when it comes to cleaning those. Whoa, they're flying. Okay, but let's go back to our card. So I've got a card base. Um, it is, I think it's just a little bit larger than A6 because this is A6 size. Um, and then I've got this background. Now this background does come from the set of your journaling uh, cards. And the journaling cards are amazing. I'm showing you all the boring ones. Let me just show you some of the fab designs have a look at that they are just gorgeous and this is the one that we're using okay and then what I'm going to do with this one because it's just not big enough to be a mat for this one um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a diagonal line just with my T ruler and something along these lines doesn't have to be 100% perfect, but it would be good if it was okay. And it's not too bad, not too shabby, okay? And then I'm just going to cut this. I could just cut this on my trimmer, but I've got my um, scissors handy. So I'm just going to give it a quick cut diagonally. Um, okay, brilliant. And then this will become my background so I'm going to take a glue roller and then just apply it to my pieces all right and then I'm just going to apply I just want just a very thin uh, frame really on mat um, something like that just nice and straight actually doing this with the triangles is just a little bit easier well it's nearly straight <laughs> okay and then do the same with this on all angles so you basically just made it go a little bit further and that's how you usually deal with things that are just a little bit too small I don't mind a little bit of a gap it's not a problem here just going to add a little bit of a feature you see I'm just going to work it this way so then I'm going to add this one actually what I might do is I might just add some dimensional adhesives and just pop these down I'm going to get to tell you a secret um, I just get mine from a pound shop um, from those discount stores because I mean no one's gonna see it or I frequently use a snip art as well if I have leftover snip art um, that kind of holding chipboard then I use that as my dimensionals because no one's gonna see it um, and you know you can spend a fortune of the on these um, then this is the easiest way okay and then just going to pop that down just like however it actually fits lovely okay so we've got that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a little doily now again you have been a li little bit tentative with this one so I'm going to add this one um, to my project these are absolutely gorgeous so these are the paper cut um, doilies or not doilies but like um, laser cut designs and I think there are nine in here they're just so stunning you can divide them to smaller elements if you wanted to and all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of adhesive super gently on both sides and I'm just going to do this oh 
I'm just going to do this. And look, this is not going to go anywhere. This is so thin, but it just adds so much interest to this card and it's so beautiful and intricate. Okay. So now that I have this, I also have a few more elements that we're going to be adding to this. Now, every single one of those elements you can darken if you want to. So you can use your blending brushes. Um, so for example, I've got a little bit of a Distress Oxide. Let's use this one. So I'm going to grab the medium sized brush because that's clean at the moment. And then just add this one to the edges. Look seamless this is seamless so quick and then i'm going to take some of the dimensionals and just going to pop one here and then one here and i'm also i've also got the clock and again you can blend it with different color i actually probably going to use exactly same one and just do a little bit and then you can do a little bit or more you can go across the whole thing if you want to. I'm just going to do it from one side like a shadow and then add my dimensionals to it. Okay, right, and then I've got my white rabbit as well. This is from the ephemera set. He is very, very handsome and look how intricately he's cut. Those uh, close-up looks really help me show you the intricacy of the work here. Okay, so that's done. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to as finish the assembling my card. So we have this frame. This is from the ephemera set. So the frame is going to go, actually, I might just put it central. I thought I want to be a little bit off, but I'm going to put it central, just in the center of that gorgeous doily. And then I'm going to take a clock as well. and put the clock here like so and then the white rabbit is just going to be here now I think I need him on two dimensionals because I want him to stand out a little bit more comparing to the rest so you're just going to double up on your dimensionals and then just pop him wherever you want him and he looks really fabulous with that clock as well. Okay, and then I do have a sentiment and all I've done is I just basically typed it on my Dymo and it says happy birthday. So I'm going to um, get this unstuck. Okay, and the happy birthday sentiment is just going to go around here. So for any Alice fan, this is gonna be a wonderful card. I think this is a fabulous card regardless, but particularly someone is an Alice fan. Okay, so here you go. You've got this gorgeous card, really nice, whoa, don't go anywhere, really nice and vintage and so quickly made. And oh, this is absolutely beautiful. And if you did want to sell them, you absolutely can. And everyone loves Alice. So here is card number one. How did you enjoy that? I hope you liked it. I absolutely love the end result. And aren't these brushes absolutely amazing? They just blend so, so beautifully. Okay, I know you're ready to see the next demonstration, so I'm not going to take long, but I thought I'm going to remind you of what we have on the show super, super quickly. Okay, starting from the left, we have the amazing paper cuts. These are beautiful. They are textured, they are gorgeous, they are really well cut, and they're only £4.99. And I didn't mention, and I'm just looking around trying to figure out where it is, but I didn't mention it also comes in this fantastic little vellum envelope. Beautiful designs, all of those £4.99, really delicate perfect for all your cards scrapbooking pages or your journals because they're very light and very thin as well okay the next thing we have on the show is this gorgeous set of 24 uh, 6 by 4 inches um, of journaling cards and these are all based on the illustrations from Alice in Wonderland book so original illustrations out of copyright so we can all use them which is exciting and we have those cards here for you designed in those beautiful colors of turquoise um, teal yellow gold amber sepia and also you have those fantastic uh, background cards as you could see on the demonstration Okay, so this is only £6.99 and all the details are here on right hand side. Please remember you can shop at craftbox.co.uk and craftboxusa.com. So just jump on the website and you will see everything on the front page just like the last time. Okay, let's move on. 
And don't forget, we have this fantastic either jumbo pack or individual packs of ephemera. So we have the character ephemera, which is £4.99. We have the coins ephemera, which is £4.99. Or you can get the jumbo pack, which is only £7.99. And again, all the details are here. Craftbox.co.uk, craftboxusa.com. Okay, we have beautiful flowers. I know you love our flowers. I know you love you love the jumbo packs. We used to do them in much smaller packs. We moved towards the bigger packs. You love the size variation. You love the colors. And these do not disappoint. You have two packs here for £9.99. And we only have 25 of those packs. I need to think we have 25. Now, with the ephemera, we can cut more with the journaling cards. We only have certain numbers because they are printed by our printers. Um, but with the flowers, we only have 20, 25 packs. If they say they are on back order, it's going to be approximately a week wait. And all the details are always on the product description page. But let's hope they're not on back order yet and you can still grab some. Now, 12x12 12 12 Wonderland collection and 8x8 8 8 Wonderland collection. These are absolutely amazing. I have a special, special price just for the show for you. I didn't mention that before, but all the details, as always, are, are on the right hand side. We have the 12x12 12 12 papers for £11.99 and 8x8 8 8 papers for £7.99. What an amazing price! So, they are printed on uncoated paper absolutely amazing grab them whilst we have them we only have a small handful of 12 by 12 we have a little bit more of 8 by 8 but really by not much and the last thing i'm going to remind you of are the brushes now you did see them on a demo they are absolutely beautiful we have them in four different sizes but if you are on a go these are great in your uh, on a go kit and these bigger ones are brilliant to keep at home because they are quite bulky but it's the bulkiness that makes them so great when it comes to color blending enough chatting about what we have on the show let's show you what you can do with the things we have on the show have a look at another demonstration in this project I'm going to create a small canvas and I have um, the rice paper now I don't know where we stand with rice paper so if it says back order and then it's going to be a little bit of a wait um, but other than that um, we do have some of them hopefully fingers crossed now this is rice paper from our own Wonderland collection um, I haven't shown them to you on um, on the main set, but um, these are amazing. So this is our own design rather than design from the book, but it complements beautifully um, with the designs from the book. So what you do is I usually just hold onto the canvas and I decide where I want the rice paper to go. Um, so I just usually make a little crease as to where things will go and the actual edges are, are going to guide me as for the rest now this is the canvas I'm going to be working on and I'm going to take a small brush and I'm going to take a little bit of water so I've got a little pot of water here so you just going to add some water to the rice paper and you're doing this to wet the fibers so they're much easier to tear and I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side Okay, usually one brush of water is enough and then it just tears beautifully. Look how easy it is. And then super gently going to do this. As for the sides, because we have white sides on this paper, it does have the white border. <clears throat> I'm going to just do exactly the same thing. And then we're just going to tear the sides off. And we want to do that, obviously we don't, don't want that white. <clears throat> but the reason why we're not cutting it, because you can cut it if you want to, is because we want to give this a little bit of a rough edge. And this kind of blends with the, um, with the canvas when you use your glue. So you will see that in just a second. I like this demonstrating space because it's got some lovely daylight here okay and here we go so that's that let's go back to our canvas now you do need a uh, decoupage glue for this i'm going to use class craft books decoupage glue if you go to the website craftbooks.co.uk or craftbooksusa.com you will see our decoupage glues on the website i'm going to make sure that they are added to uh, appropriate sections so i'm just going to take a brush and usually i apply my decoupage glue to both uh, canvas or the surface where I want the um, decoupage paper to go onto and the actual paper itself and that just ensures that I get really nice adhesion 
so all you're going to do is you're just going to roughly spread this now just you've got to work relatively fast because you don't want this to stick to your surface here we go and then just going to pop that here we go okay so now the final step is just to add a little bit more decoupage glue and then very gently just go over the surface and then seal and smooth everything with that little bit of glue that you have from the center out that's how you're going to avoid any air bubbles now we have some little fringes on the side so i usually go around the side and then just get the fringes down here we go perfect okay now what you're going to do you're going to give it a zap with a heat gun or you're going to leave it to dry naturally but this is what we have now we do have those edges as you can see because it didn't just reach just just kind of miss the edge there are solutions to this you can take a lumi paint and you can just add a little bit of lumi paint to the edge just here and here i'm just going to rush this a little bit and then we can start working on this entire piece. Okay, I've got this gorgeous frame here and I am going to take one of my blending brushes and I am going to take an ink. So I'm going to use the um, Broken China and I'm just going to pounce this onto my chipboard like this look at this gorgeous coverage another reason why these blending brushes are absolutely amazing again as i'm here i don't know where we stand with the stock i know they um they, they, we still had a few of them not so long ago so please have a look craftbooks.co.uk and craftbooks tv for anything i'm showing you today have a look so easy to do all right, I'm gonna bring that back in and I'm just going to pop this frame. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of gel medium and then just add some gel medium to my frame, just super gently. You don't have to put it any, everywhere. As, a, as long as you have a little bit, it's, it is going to catch, okay? And then I'm going to start building my little scene. So I've got the queen. Check her out. She's gorgeous. <laughs> Big grumpy, but, but gorgeous. And I think I'm going to use some dimensional adhesive here. So just going to grab one of those. Just put on the back of her. And then here we go. Just put her down. I'm just kind of overlapping the frame a little bit. Then I'm, I've got my cat as well. So he's going to go on, on the dimensionals. And he's going to sit on top of that frame. Almost like he sits on top of the tree. Somewhere here. And then I've got Queen and Alice. Can they be both the same place? Oh, well. And I've got a little... Look, oh, so cute. Okay, little Alice from the FMRS set. So let's just grab her and pop her on a dimensional as well, which is just a little bit too big for our little Alice. So just split that in half. Okay, so just pop her in there. And I've got some other embellishments here as well. So I've got some teacups, so I'm going to add that. I'm going to add the teacup, um, not the teacup, teapot. Just going to add the teapot. Okay, so we have flowers. We have a spring set of flowers, and these are stunning. They are on the show. I don't know what quantities we have. Um, and I'm just going to select a few of them that will complement um, this arrangement. And I think I'm going to go for peach. Yep, I think that will work well. And I might even go for pink. I know it's a bit of an interesting choice. And then from this one, I'm going to, to go for ivory. And maybe some of those, I call them popcorn flowers. There's nothing popcorn about them, but I just love them. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of gel medium and just 
attach this with a gel medium. You can, of course, use hot glue if you want to. I mean, just going, I'm going to make a little arrangement here somewhere around Alice with a smaller and a larger flowers. Just add a little bit of that one, just right next to this. And then another one here. So that just adds a little bit of a lighter touch to this entire um, piece because it is quite dark and it is quite uniform um, in colors. So that just lifts it up a little bit, which is just great. And I'm just going to add a couple of the smaller ones in a few places. Okay, so here is where we are. Now we also have some of the discs um, and I'm just going to, uh, the coins actually, they're not discs, I call them discs, but they are the coins. Um, we've got some of the coins and I'm just going to, um, again, get a little bit of gel medium and get some of the coins and just pop them in just a few little places, just kind of here and there as a bit of an accent. Um, so just add that here. Okay, awesome. And then I will leave, leave predominantly the centre um, as it is. So here we go. This is our little mixed media piece with a little Alice scene. So, so beautiful. Okay, let's move on. How was that? Did you enjoy it? Well, I love creating with all these. They're just such amazing products. What we have on the show today is absolutely fantastic. And the prices are unbeatable. I mean, barely anything is over 10 pounds. Isn't that fantastic? Okay, you've seen me doing the little run through already. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to remind you that if you want to buy anything, just all the details are on the right hand side. But if you go to craftbooks.co.uk or craftbooks USA, then you're going to be able to see everything there. Now, if you are enjoying the show, please do me a great favor and please share this with your friends. It's so important for me to carry on doing this. We really need to have as many of you watching as possible. So please, 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 please share, please like and comment and I'm going to be doing this as much as I can. Okay, so let's have a look at another demonstration. So for this demonstration, I've got everything prepared already and I'm just going to walk you through how I'm going to create this card. This is going to be a, I guess, a gatefold card. Um, and I am going to, I've taken two uh, cards, basically two card bases, and I'm going to assemble them together. And I have pre-cut um, the front pages, so they're about m more or less half the size um, of the actual card. I'm just going to assemble them so they go together um, and they go nice and straight and even. Okay, so here we go. And then they will close really nicely, just like this. So then in, at, the, um, at the bottom, so inside, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the cards here. Um, so this is from the journaling set. And I'm just going to add some of the glue. And I'm just going to try to be quite precise to uh, have a nice and straight mat in here. Here we go. Okay, perfect. And then I have already pre-cut this journaling card with the Mad Hatter to slightly smaller size just to have that nice, nice dinky um, mat on this one. So we're just going to pop that in side. Okay, perfect. So that's inside done. So you can just pop a sentiment inside and you have that. Now for the outside, here is what we're going to do. It, I am going to um, take this bit. This is already pre-cut to size. This is again from the journaling collection as well. Uh, but I am going to adhere only this side and then the uh, the bottom and the top. I'm not going to do the inner side. I'm not going to put any glue. Maybe just a little bit on those two sides. And you will see why in a second. This is where our closure is going to go. Um, so just going to add some of the glue to the outside and to the bottom and maybe just a tiny bit just so it catches but I want this bit so the one that's actually inside I want this without any glue okay so this just is going to go to the front of my card 
and I'm just going to be nice and precise here perfect and then I've got a little bit mat of a little bit of a mat here um this is from the journaling journaling um collection or selection or set and I'm just going to pop that one on the other side smutting and layering on one side but not on the other spicing things up a little bit nice and straight and then this is the other side of this journaling card so I didn't want to check it I wanted to use it so I decided I'm going to use it as a, like an extra panel and I'm just going to get this one and at this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this little coin this is from the uh, paper coins um, collection that we have on craftbox.co.uk this is Alice paper coin and I'm just going to pop that uh, around I'm just thinking where we want the closure around here okay and then just give it a press just like this so that it's actually stuck there and now I'm going to put this panel in okay gently nice and straight and what it's got what's going to happen is you're going to be able to close it by just putting this little paper coin I mean I would expect that you only want to do this once just for shipping and you've got little Alice there as well but have a look nice and closed it's not popping open but all you have to do is just do this okay so I'm going to take this beautiful ornate window now again I don't know what stock we have so if you want them have a look these are so gorgeous so beautifully intricate so I'm going to take this one now I am going to cut this uh, a little bit smaller I probably will cut this just in half as well as I can and here we go and then just going to take my glue roller and super gently just going to add glue to a few parts of this of this doily okay and then just going to adhere it somewhere here okay a little ornate window I've grabbed it by, by the glue, so I need to be super careful. Okay, here we go. And then I've got Alice. So I wanted Alice to be a little bit on the background of that. But what I'm going to do with her is I'm going to take a dimension adhesive here. So just one of the rectangles. Just pop it here on the back of her. Just a little bit too big, but that's fine. Um, and then just pop her down somewhere around here so she's looking at what is happening on this side okay now what you can do you can close your card and you have a beautiful alice card ready made doesn't that just look professional it's absolutely stunning and then when you open it here you go you've got your mad hatter now if you wanted this coin just to be a little bit tighter you can get the glue a little bit closer um, into um, to the inside and then that slit is going to become smaller and it will be just a little bit tighter for the um, actual coin but other than that it works fine so here we go so I hope you enjoyed that. That was nice and quick, wasn't it? Which is just great because we love quick little demos, something to inspire you and just your, get your creative juices flowing. Okay, so um, it has now been a little while. So let me just mention again, everything is listed here. Okay, so if you need any reminder about anything we have on the show, it is listed just here. Now, at craftbooks.co.uk, craftbooksusa.com are your websites. And on those front pages, so when you enter this, this URL uh, that is craftbooks.co.uk or craftbooksusa, if you are based in the US, you're going to be able to see what's on Craftbooks TV. There is a section there on the very front page and everything we have on the show is listed there okay so you can just pop to the front of the website and just get anything you want from this uh, collection that we have on today okay so just a quick reminder today on the show we are focusing on Alice in Wonderland everyone's favorite theme and we have amazing journaling cards 24 beautiful uh, uncoated stock uh, illustrations from the original book and they are four no no they're not four 
They are four. They are six inch by four inch. Gosh, will I ever learn? Okay, four by six inch journaling cards, 24 of those in the pack. So that's a really, really nice stack. Okay, then we have ephemera. We have the character ephemera and we have the coins ephemera. I appreciate you can't see the coins ephemera. So let's have, let's come, come a little bit closer. I'm going to show you another la la little zoom in just to go through this. So just a reminder of that amazing character pack in a major close up. So you can see how amazing these are. And then you also have these at the very bottom here with the Cheshire Cat. So all that, all those elements. So that's 71 elements all together with the coins and characters if you go for the jumbo pack. Okay, so you can get them separately. If the coins are not your thing, these are paper coins, by the way. If the coins are not your thing, that's fine. If the characters are not your thing, that's fine. You can get them separately, £4.99 each, or £7.99 for the entire bundle. This is an amazing price. We cut every single one of those packs in, in the office. Someone is standing next to those machines and cutting them. Um, so please support us. It would mean the world to us. And it's a great, great bundle to have as well with all those beautiful characters. So $7.99, all the details are here. Okay, then we have two packs of flowers, beautiful in the yellow and green uh, colors and also the peach and pink. Um, and these are £9.99 for the set of two. We have Alice in Wonderland. We have 12 by 12 paper pad and 8 by 8 paper pad. You have 12 by 12 for £11.99. This is show only offer. And you have the 8 by 8 by £7.99. Again, all the details are here. Don't forget, we have the fantastic blending brushes. We have them in uh, the uh, four different sizes. They are sold separately. Um, and they're on the website as well. So fantastic and so soft. Beautiful for blending. And then I'm just going to quickly move here. Let's have a look at those beautiful laser cut papers. They are absolutely gorgeous. And the designs we have here are the doilies. We also have some gates, well, and, and a window. So you have windows, doilies, and gates. Beautiful. And you could see me working with them during the demonstration. So absolutely gorgeous. Pop them in your basket. They're only £4.99. All the details, as always, are here on the right hand side. Now, if you manage to stay with me for so long. First of all, thank you so much. I love your company and I really, really appreciate your time. Please, please, please share this video with your friends. I would love if you could share it and, uh, and spread the word. But if you manage to last that long, I am going to be doing one more cheeky demo just for you because it is Sunday night. And if you are currently self-isolated or at home, um, then I thought I'm going to entertain you a little bit more. So let's have a look. <clears throat> okay, so the last little demo, the last little bonus demo I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create this fantastic shaker tag. Now these shaker tags come in uh, three parts. So you have the front, you have the little plastic bit and then you have the back. Um, so what I've already done here, I've pre-prepared this quite a lot. I have uh, applied the uh, backs, this is one of the journaling cards, and I have applied the front. Um, so I basically measured, um, done, you know, outlined this on the paper and then they cut it quite intricately. And then a little bit of a tip, um, if you want something to be nice and smooth, just take a normal nail file and then just file it inside and outside. This is what I've done and I've got it nice and perfect. It looks like I've measured it to every millimeter which I haven't um, and then I'm going to take I've put a little bit of a glue um, strip a little glue roller I have put this on here and then I'm going to put my little kind of glass inside and then just stick it down okay so just like this so we have nice it, it, we have it nice and flat now what you can put inside all sorts of things I am going to put some of the coins because they're cute and I'm going to put a little bit of glitter. Now, depending how chunky is your glitter, don't overdo the glitter, otherwise you're not going to see anything inside. So I'm just going to literally take just a few bits. And this is a little chunky glitter, this is actually from other works. And I love this, because it's just like little chunky, um, um, little chunky discs, actually. 
Okay, when you have that ready, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to put a significant amount of kind of sealant or glue in here. Now, what I would suggest is something like glossy accents that works really, really well. Now, if you have any uh, dry tape, any dry adhesive, you can uh, you can use that as well. And in fact, this is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the tape and then just apply it here. So I'm applying it over the plastic and then I'm going to do exactly the same at the bottom just here and then like this. Okay perfect and then for the sides this tape might just be a little bit too big. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it in a little bit of shorter strips now you can do this with gel medium if you want to and that will be less hassle okay and just going to pop that on here you just need to make sure that everything is nice and sealed basically and then just pop that down here okay perfect Right, so now it's time to get your pokey toe and then get that tape off so, so you can actually reveal the sticky part. And here is the last chance to add any additional little bits. So I've lost some of my glitter bits, so I'm just going to add just a few more. And here we go. Now this is going to go on the very top. Now I usually do it this way. So I prepare everything and then just I work back, backwards um, just like this so that I can know that nothing is going to disappear from the sides. And I just give it a really, really good push. And here you go, a little shaker tag, which is just so easy to make. Now, what you can do is you can carry on embellishing it. And I've got a little um, Queen and Alice, so I could cover that up if I wanted to. Um, I can also add a little cat just here. That is completely up to you what kind of embellishing you want. So let's maybe go down the route of some floral embellishments because this is nice dusky pink, this will look beautiful. And I'm just going to take a little bit of a gel medium. And then just apply my little flowers onto here. And if you use gel medium, then the um, gel will attach to the plastic, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm just going to take a little tiny flower there. Here we go. Okay, so super simple little project, super cute, really, really easy to make. And you've got this cute little shaker game, if you will. So this is your bonus project. So how did you enjoy that? I hope you did. I absolutely love doing those and, and, uh, and I love the final effect as well. So now you have seen four demonstrations. Um, we have all of that. I have reminded you of everything quite a few times already. So I'm just going to leave it there. And all the details are always on the right hand side, craftbooks.co.uk, craftbooksusa.com are the websites through which you can shop and just go to, the, to those websites. And on the very, very front page, so the moment you enter the website, you're going to, going to see um, a collection called What's New on Craftbox TV and all those products are going to be there. So you don't have to look for anything, you don't have to search for anything. Really super easy and super simple. Now that is it I have for you on the show. I hope you enjoyed it and please share. I would really appreciate it if you would. Um, and I will see you again very soon. I'm going to try to do this as um, frequently as I can. Um, in the meantime, stay healthy, stay warm, stay safe. Um, and I will see you again very soon. Bye.